I let my best friend move in with us because he was going through a bad time. Now, him and my wife have gotten close and they want to start a poly relationship. Yes, that's what I'm going through. I'm about to be put inside, forced inside a poly relationship. As so they thought, well, my best friend of eight years recently lost his job. He wasn't able to pay for the apartment that he was currently living in. So he had asked me, hey, could I stay with you until the end of the year just so I can save up some money and find somewhere to go? I said, yes, that was November. Literally within the first two days, I saw him and my wife getting closer, but I didn't really think about it like any type of way because that's my brother. That's my fam. That's somebody that I've been with through thick and thin. And so I thought this is my homeboy. And so I thought this was the guy that I could see helping me out and me living with his wife when he gets one. Well, something that I completely forgot about, though, is the fact that human depravity knows no bounds. Two weeks ago, my wife had approached me and said that she and my best friend have fallen in love. She said that they haven't done anything physical yet because they wanted to keep all respect for me and they wanted to make sure that I was cool inside of the situation. And the best thing that we could do all together is just have a poly family, a poly relationship because she loves both of us and she doesn't want to lose me. She wants me to stay inside of her life. And I'm like, I, 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 I'm confused. My best friend also talked to me and said that he has always had a crush on my wife, that he's always had these feelings. And the only thing that he can do is just go up and approach it and go for it because he wants to realize and live his true self. Your true self? What? So for about a week after that, I was sitting there just pondering, thinking, wondering, if I'm at work, are they just doing stuff behind my back? How long was it not physical? When did they develop this love? How could you develop love? And like all of this stuff was just running through my head. So it got to the point where I was like, yeah, you know what? You got to move out. I straight up looked at my best friend and was like, you got to go. I, I can't I can't deal with this. I can't have you around. I don't want my wife and you even like my anxiety just went through the roof. He said, OK, please just give me three days until Monday. All right, bet I'll give you until Monday. The reason I did that is because I didn't want to argue. I didn't want it to go on. I didn't want it to go back and forth. I just said, you know what? You're doing what I want you to do. It's in a reasonable time period. Not today, not tomorrow, about three, four days, but that's perfectly fine. Well, each one of the days leading up, my wife was trying to be more lovey-dovey. She was trying to be more close to me. I was trying to communicate with her, but I just didn't know what to say. I was just sitting there thinking. And then the worst thing in the world had happened. Literally the worst part of this situation came to forefront. And I was just sitting there faced with everything right in my face. My wife looked at me and said, you can sleep with other people if you want. It doesn't just have to be me and him. What? So I move my best friend into my house because he's going through bad times. He says he has always had a crush on my wife. My wife says she wants to open up a poly family relationship with him. And now she's saying that she wants me to go out and find other people. What? Um, okay. At that point, I said, yeah, yeah, this is over. It was literally two days before Monday and I'm getting hit with this again. And I'm sitting there like, I thought it was over. I already told you no, no means no, no is a complete sentence. There's nothing supposed to be after no, N, O. That's literally most of the alphabet. She even looked at me and asked me why. I had to treat it like my mom because I said so. What you mean why? I said no already. Literally that whole night I slept in my car. I didn't even know where to sleep. I was going to sleep on the sofa. I was going to sleep inside of the bathroom. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of done with this whole situation. And then I started my plot. The house that I was living in was my brother's house. Really, my older brother's house. I didn't even pay rent there. So I technically didn't even have squatter's rights. Or so I would think. I ended up having a conversation with him. And he was like, uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of an iffy situation. And then my wife was coming to me and trying to see if she could get into counseling, trying to see if we could work on it that way and try to build our relationship back from whatever we had. Well, think about it. I thought we had something great, but it couldn't have been that great if you could fall in love with somebody else in the meantime. 
I'm not against poly relationships at all. I believe if you can find love however you want to find love, you can do that. Me personally, I want monogamy. I want somebody that's going to be with just me for the rest of my life. When I married my wife, I thought it was because she loved me. I didn't think it was because of the lack of options she had outside of me. But the moment she got another option, the moment somebody else was like, I got a crush on you too, that's when she just gets jumped on and was like, you know, we should do this whole poly relationship. We should go ahead and have multiple people coming inside of the house, multiple people um, in inside a relationship as in multiple three that's still more than just me and you so it really hurt me and took me into a whole different headspace my thought process was simple if he wants my wife and she wants my best friend they can have both of them to the fullest extent i had another conversation with my brother and he was going to give me a formal eviction notice and it was okay i ended up talking to my best friend and my wife and they were both like hey I haven't found anywhere else to go. Is it cool if I get a couple more days? I said, huh, you can get another 30. And you know what? I think this poly thing may work out. So let's set up some rules. And the rules that I set up really put them on their head because they were just like, you want us to do what? I thought about the idea of my best friend and my wife having a poly relationship with each other. And then I was like, you know, if you guys really want to do this, Let's do this to the fullest extent. And the rules that I laid out was one, we gonna have to all pay rent equally. Currently, nobody pays rent inside of the house. And the house that we live in is my older brother's house. It is actually supposed to be 3,000 something a month for rent. That's what it goes inside of the rate. So that means we would all have to pay a thousand each. I don't know if you know this, but the place that he was staying in was only $750 that he couldn't afford. So he's definitely not gonna be able to afford a thousand. And he's been working in the months from November until, what was it? It was uh, March? Yeah, my, my November to March. So he stayed past the year he was supposed to be at. So him paying rent was a given. Two, we gotta get a divorce. And it has to be an extremely split divorce where you get none of the assets that I have and I get none of the assets that you have. We just split up and we build our relationship on the poly relationship that we are starting. Those were literally my only stipulations. And she said, no, apparently she didn't want to get a divorce. She didn't want me out of her life. And if the thought of divorce was on the table, she didn't want to do anything with him as well. So then sitting there thinking about it, I asked a simple question. Have you guys done anything since the last time we had the conversation? And they both looked at me with a puzzled look on their face. What, what do you mean? What, what, what? And I was like, have y'all did any type of things physical? They both said no. And I said, OK, cool. At that time, she had said, well, maybe we could just forget all of this and he can find somewhere else to stay and we can go to marriage counseling. I looked at her and said no. And then I called up my brother. I said, hey, go ahead and hit it with that eviction notice. Why? Because these people ain't going to be able to pay rent. Want to know something else? She does not have a job. So both of them were living off of my brother because I was too. Shoot, I, I got a job, but I wasn't paying no rent. So when my brother hit us with the eviction notice, my wife and my best friend went ballistic. They were like, how could you do this? Where are we going to go? And I was like, I don't know where you were going to go anyway, but what do you mean, wife? We, right? They're talking about how I'm throwing them out into the streets and I'm an evil individual. No, no, no. I don't think I threw anybody out into the streets. What I did was I realized, oh, I am not in a place where I have a best friend and a wife. I have two people that want to sleep in each other and they live in the same house that I live in. I'm moving out. My brother ended up setting up a fumigation system inside of the house because there was some mold and other stuff that was in there. And I'm currently sleeping inside of the room. I'm extremely devastated in the situation and just lost. I can't believe it got here. I didn't think having my best friend and my wife inside of the same area would lead it to me.